the end of the video review for you. This time we're taking a look at BotCon 2013 Machine Wars Sandstorm. Uh, this is the only Machine Wars figure I got from this year's BotCon. Uh, this guy came in a two pack with another figure which I'll be reviewing soon. Uh, I did not get the box set. I did not get the Mirage and Thundercracker bag set. Uh, I just got this set and the Seeker set. And that's it. And the crayons. But uh, I didn't get the box set. Just didn't, wasn't digging it. Um, I just didn't like the fact that they put Machine Wars characters along with Beast Machine figures and called it the Machine Wars set. It just didn't jive with me. Anyway, this guy is a repaint of uh, Dark of the Moon Skyhammer. Uh, so this is a movie mold, but it's probably the best movie mold that came out of that line. Um, does come with his mech tech weapon. It does have landing gear. They don't roll, they're just molded. Um, and when you have the gun attached to the front, he does have a fake wheel on the gun as well. But you can remove the gun. He does have another set of landing gear. I can get it out. And I just dropped it. He does sit a little flusher, a little lower to the ground like that, a little you know, straighter without the weapon attached. But Here's his weapon. It's the exact same weapon he came with as Skyhammer. However, it is just painted a little bit differently. You got a gold tip. And you got the matching teal from the rotors. And instead of, I think it came with silver. But uh, you just push it. And you get this claw. Yeah. Not the biggest fan of mech tech, but this is probably one of the better weapons. It's very loud. So you'll put the gun to the side for now. When you plug it in, Plug it into this teal port. Don't plug it in over here because it'll stress them. It'll stress the ports. Believe me, I know. So we didn't take a look at this guy yet, so we're going to take a look at his uh, transformation. This this is a another one of our repaints that we have. They're reviewing the repaint of before we view the original figure, as is my style. But um, you can see it's a very cool looking helicopter. I'm just going to push the landing gear up because they're going to annoy me as I'm fiddling with him. Rotor spin very nicely. Um, he does have the same tiger stripes as Machine Wars Sandstorm, the original one uh, had. You'll just refer to my previous video to see that. He has the same tampoed um, star logos for the uh, you know, the US military, which is very cool. The Autobot logos are tampoed on, which I appreciate now that I don't have the stickers on the original one. He does have the MP tampoed up here, very cool. Very, very, uh, you know, it's very similar to the uh, to the original figure. Instead of clear plastic on the rotors, we got this nice teal, which I think is a lot better than the clear plastic because I hate clear plastic. It does spin very nicely, like I said. It has missile pods on the side for weapons. Um, you can actually pull these off and put them underneath anywhere you want. I just like to leave them there. But overall, very cool. It's actually a very clean figure, especially for a for a movie figure. I do very, very much dig the look of this guy. So yeah, to transform him, we are going to start by coming to the back. I'm gonna work on the lower half, the legs first. So what you're gonna do is crack this in half. It does peg in a couple times up here. Two holes, two pegs. I believe it pegs in on the underside somewhere as well. Um, mostly by feel, you'll feel it when you fiddle with it. You want to fold it down like that, and then you want to see right here, there's a cut right here. You're going to fold it up at that. And then you also have to, hold on. You know what, we'll just work on the legs and then we'll uh, we'll come up to that. Do you, want, you want to rotate these around to face that way, to face the front. We're going to take the tail fins. We're going to flip out the foot first. And what you want to do is you want to push the heel out, which will free it, which makes life a lot easier. Um, this bit right here pops out, but it doesn't lock at all. This side locks pretty good. This side doesn't lock at all. So you will push that out, like, every time you touch it. But this will kind of peg in there. And then you just fold this to face outward. Do the same thing on this side, but this side you have... Um, two fins, because you have the vertical tail fin, 
as well, and that goes on this side. So again, flip out the foot, push out the heel, rotate it out, and then push the tail fin flat along the inside of the leg. Pretty sure this one clicked, I guess not. I'm not gonna worry about really pushing, keeping these pushed out, because they just do not stay no matter what you do. So yeah, as far as the rest of the legs, I'm going to fold that flat, and basically fold it flat out like that. So just make sure you fold it back and then forward, so this fin part will face away from the the back of the body, like that. And then you kind of, they don't sit flat like that, they're going to, straight is going to be more like that, so you're going to have more of an angle to them. You'll, uh, you'll see it more, you'll see it better when I, when I complete. So then I'm going to take the waist up here by this teal part and fold it back like that. Next. Gonna come up here, and we're going to split the canopy. You're gonna fold the MP part, push that all the way up, split the cockpit, and it's also gonna free the arms. And you wanna come over here. The lot there's actually a lot going on for a movie figure toy, but um, right here, these pod parts, I guess you can call them peg in, see the peg in the hole. So you wanna free those and just kind of bend these wing bits out of the way just freeze everything up and this is actually the arm so you kind of just want to bend this whole section out of the way to free the arms and then just kind of wiggle it and get the arms out just like that oh my god uh, don't worry about the back part for now. We're going to come up to the front. You can see his head starting to poke through. But um, next what you want to do is with the arms, come under here, flip out the fist, and then fold it back. You see, you can't fold it all the way because the peg will hit. So what you want to do is you fold it all the way and then it'll fit and then you just rotate that around. I like to put the black part forward on that part but you can unplug those if you want. Again rotate the shoulder, come over here, pop out the fist, flip it out. Um, on this black, on this hinge right here, that's where you want to fold it all the way back and then there's an inner hinge and fold that all the way in and that'll get the uh, that'll get the arm done. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to flip these little yeah, flip the little inside panels down and then we're going to rotate this section right here where the rotor is on around. Make sure these what am I doing? Panels go like that. Come back here to the backpack. What you want to do is you want to fold the backpack down on that hinge and then up on this hinge and then collapse them in. So, and then at the same time, there's two pegs. This is hard to show because it's very tight. There's two green pegs down in there, and there's two holes in this black part, and you just peg those together. So you just kind of, at the same time, and then you also peg it in here. Peg and peg, and there's a hole right in there. And you just peg that all together. Rotate it down, that hinge, up that hinge, and peg it in, so basically you got that going on. Now we got the cool part of the transformation. We take the rotor 
and there are hinges on the rotor itself. So what you want to do is also, there's a little blue peg right in there. Right there. See there's peg there and there's no peg on that side. And there's two holes. So what you want to do is you want to line that up with the holes on the top and the bottom of this piece. So just like that, and then just push it, push the whole assembly in, into the chest. And that will lock it, so it won't go nowhere. Okay, so now that we have that locked in, what we're gonna do is gonna fold this, fold each rotor blade at that hinge. And there's a peg on each blade, and there's a hole here, on each side, and then there's another hole right there. So what we're gonna do is bend each one and just peg it into each one of those holes. Peg in there, peg in there, peg in there, peg in there, and there we have Sandstorm in his robot mode. So there we have him in his robot mode and he does look very 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 cool. I do love the chest with the blades. It's you know totally sky hammer but it's just very cool. I do dig that. Um, as far as articulation head is on a ball joint so you got good range of motion. Shoulders can do a 360 up and down. Uh, just watch out for the up because it'll hit the blades. Never same thing with the road uh, you know, the upper rotate, the full 360 rotation. Uh, upper bicep swivel. Nice 90 degree bend at the elbow. Um, I don't think there's anything at the wrist. Nothing at the wrist, except in and out for the transformation. Um, waist swivel, ball joint or universal joint. Universal joint hips, in and out, forward and back. Bends at the knee. Day. See, hate these things. Uh, and then just moving in the foot and the heels, uh, rotation, uh, you know, forward and back. Just be aware that the legs do have to be bent a little bit for them to actually be straight, because otherwise they're not. Kind of looks funny when you're playing with it, but it's the way it is. I can't get him to stand up straight. So yeah, here he is with his mech tech weapon. It is a little bit big on him, so it does give him a big arse cannon. But it's not bad. You know, there are worse weapons out there. But other than that, he is very, very, very cool. He does have the same colored head as uh, G1 or you know, Machine Wars, the original Machine Wars Sandstorm. The deco is gorgeous. You know, it's a total, complete homage. The shoulders have the Autobot symbols, much like the, the original. Sorry, just fiddling. Um, this is a totally, more or less perfect homage to that Sandstorm figure. I mean, I don't know what mold they could have used better. This guy is just totally, totally embodies that figure. And I'm totally happy with him. Um, as the mold itself, um, this is also, this is definitely probably, you know, this is probably the best movie mold that they've made, at least for Dark on the Moon. Because obviously a lot of those molds aren't the best, but just as a standalone figure, this guy is, is pretty, you know, pretty great. I love the chest, I love the the way the, uh, they handle the rotors. It's very unique, very cool. Uh, don't like these bits these do push in but again once you have them on a shelf and not touching him it's fine um, you can also plug the neck tech weapon up here on the sides I don't want to risk stressing the pegs just me um, it'll probably be fine but I don't want to risk ruining this figure so I'm not gonna I like him better like that anyway without the mech tech weapon so that's why I'm gonna leave him but yeah once you he is a little bit fiddly especially with the legs but once you get the angles right again he does look totally awesome very cool so yeah if you do want to pick this guy up 
Um, they are pretty cheap. I think you can still get them on the club store for retail in the two pack. Um, you can find them separate. I've seen them for like 60 or 70 bucks. Um, I would try to shoot for the two pack because the figure he comes with is also really cool. Uh, I will be reviewing, reviewing him shortly. But other than that, like he is a great, a near perfect homage, if not a perfect homage to the original figure, the original Sandstorm figure. So when the club does it, when the club wants to do something right, they can do it right. It's just a matter of them doing it right. But when they do want to do it right, Fun Pub and the club does can do a bang up job. And this is definitely an example of that. So yeah, this has been the video review for BotCon 2013, Machine Wars Sandstorm.